You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. 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 Watch Nollywood Pictures TV. And you subscribe. 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 We will be happy. Subscribe now. decided to go into importation of motor spare parts. Okay. You know, as a mechanic, I think I will do very well in that line of business. I think so too. Yeah. Though naturally I would have still love to go back to my mechanic work. See, I love the job so much. Mm -hmm. Is it that you said you don't want it? No, 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 at all, at all, at all. I mean, as the only brother to a multi-millionaire like me. I find it rather belittling that you have to go back to that mechanic workshop. Okay. So how much are we looking at here? Well, my contact said uh, with five to eight million naira, uh, I can start real big. Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case, you will get ten million naira to start. Ten million naira. You know, the cost of doing Nothing business here yeah, is pretty high. Ten million? <laughs> but that's, 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 that's too big! <laughs> thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much, girl. Yeah. It's okay. You do a... Wow. Oh. Hi, I'm Janet. We met with the agent I told you about, and he showed us a wonderful property, good enough for our food mart business. Oh, uh, that's nice. Mm. And you said you want to do this business with Janet. Ah, uh, yes, she's very industrious, and you know, back in the village, we actually ran the food stop business together, and we enjoyed working together. That's mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> so okay, I'll make provision for that. You serious? Just give me some time, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> what can I do without you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just don't feel sleepy. I'm tired to sleep. You know, you never know you can do this one without me this night. No, 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 no. I need to call you. I need to call you. 
Okay, that's it. So. Mm -hmm. I reject it for you in Jesus' name. Ha! It's not in you. Eh? If it was part of you before, it has been washed away. Ah uh ah. -uh. See, baby, this thing is not completely different. Importation of spare parts, it, it, it still has relation to mechanic job. It does. Jamie's in Come on, Victor, it's nothing. Hi! It's nothing, it's nothing. Oh, brother, you just gave my life, honestly. You just gave my life a meaning. And I am very, very grateful. Victor, have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. I have too many things to do here. <laughs> <laughs> We have to thank God. 
I'm happy that uh, one of you, you know, was hot. I'm very happy about that. So, these people took all, all of it, all the money. It's okay, it's okay. Mm. It's okay. It will be easy. Once there is life, there is hope. It's okay, it's okay. You don't understand. 10.5 million naira. Like, they, they didn't allow the money to spend a night in my house. 10.5 million naira. Like, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. What even okay. in the left? since the agent showed us the property and we were supposed to have paid up. Oh, that. Um, okay, um, when I come back, we'll discuss about it. Come back. And you've been posting us. Off? Yes, Janet and I. Must you do this with her? I mean, can't you own this business alone? No, I want to do this with her. I told you that we did it back together in the village and she was very industrious. She brings in different ideas and... Okay, okay. If you insist. to learn to move on. Take for instance, you have a golden opportunity of going to a business of your dream. Would you let it slip away like that just because you're scared of approaching Brother Mike for assistance? I am not scared. I'm ashamed. Don't you get it? See, barely a month, my brother gave me 10.5 million. All of a sudden, the money just vanished. Baby, I was there. Now tell me, what is the moral justification I have to stand before him and ask for another money? He even came with his wife in the morning. Have you forgotten? You still don't get it, sweetheart. 10.5 million naira. And I come up the next morning and sit before him and say, Brother, give me. Uh, the major reason why I struggled and I'm still struggling to remain wealthy. I'm sorry brother, just that I, I didn't know what your reaction would be like. That I gave you 10.5 million that was snatched by robbers, so what? Were you the ones that invited them to rob you? Tell me and I will pay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it's alright. 
Now tell me exactly what you need the money for. But that is it. There's this construction company a new friend of mine introduced me to. And they have offered to give me a contract to supply them some items. But this new friend of mine is regular in China. And he has accepted. I mean, he has offered to help me import the goods. So how much is it? 16 million naira. You see? See how you would have let such a life-changing deal pass you by just because of 16 million naira. <clears throat> Well, I'll give you the money. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. You shouldn't be thanking me. You should actually be thanking your wife. Yes, because she was the one who told me of the deal. Yes. Take your breakfast. I'm sorry, but I'm already running late. Baby, it was just a cup of tea and a few slices of bread. It, it won't take time. Sorry, I understand, but I can't. Don't you understand? I have to be on the way now. See, okay, don't worry. I'll back in a few hours, okay? Baby, yeah. this is what you always do. You always do. Right? So you, can, you, you won't understand. It's not Hey, boy. address where his office is situated now look at me very well do i look like i care to know where he stays or do i look like i ever want to have anything to do with thrusters 
Hi, you see, you, you get it wrong here. Yeah. Good luck is not a fraud star. Good luck is my friend Ooh. and a business associate. Good. Good luck is your friend. Then why asking me? Since you know he's your friend, then why asking me? Well, if you don't know, let me tell you. Good luck has left with his family to the United States of America. To pay three eligible business here. He even left with my six months rent. That good luck. Whenever I catch him, he will suffer. He will suffer. Just look at him. Mr. Man, please don't come here again to look for good luck. Okay? This is the gate. Mr. Man, that is the gate. That is my dog. Look at the gate. Hey.
He said he was going to some company where he needs supplies to collect his check. Few hours later, he called me on phone. He said he had been duped. I don't even know what happened. From the sound of his voice, he sounded really down. I kept on calling his number. He wasn't picking up. I was calling his phone. He wasn't picking up. Eventually, when he returned home last night, he was drunk. Before I could even ask him what the problem was, he passed out. If anything happens to him, I don't know what I will say. I don't know what I will say. Damn it. Calm down, please. You know I hate to see you like this, please. See, I just spoke to the doctor and then he said he, he, he was too stressed yesterday and he had a bit too much to drink. Okay, don't worry, he'll be fine. I don't know what I was saying. I don't know what I was saying. It is okay. <laughs> don't do this to yourself.
remedy the situation. And that surgery needs to be done as fast as possible. You know, as you can see, he's really in a very bad state. So, Doctor, please, can we carry on with the surgery? Ah, uh, yes, we can go on with the surgery, but you have to make a deposit of three million. It's very important to deposit it to make fast. So we can facilitate the process of the surgery. Is there any problem? I don't know. Not, not really, doctor. You see, uh, can you do one thing for me? Is it possible you can just carry on with the surgery when yes. I go run around to make the money available? Yes, yes. yes um, as soon as the deposit is made, the surgery will take place. You know, I'm not the surgeon here. Our surgeon would have to come back from the handle and uh, mm -hmm. we need to foot his bills. So once the deposit is made, we we'll go to the theatre. Asked me to come to his office. I have been there on three occasions. I've not been able to see him. I'm talking to you. I'm coming from his office now. Do you know the one that baffles me? Is that he has refused to take my calls. I just don't know what is happening. I'm confused. He's not taking my call. That's not true. Michael is in his office. Oh, he just called me about 30 minutes ago with his office line. And that's just about the time you said you're coming from there. Huh. So what is going on now? You're getting me more confused. Yes. You know what, Victor? Victor, listen to me. Victor, calm down, okay? I know, calm down, just calm down. Give me a little time to talk to him and I promise you, he will get right back to you. I can't believe you're doing this to yourself. <laughs> Look, you of all people should know that this is not a time for tears, crying or sobbing. It is a time to go to God in prayer for a miracle. Look, starving yourself will not solve a thing. Please, calm down. Mm -hmm. You ask me to calm down. You ask me to calm down when my only 
pride of motherhood is dying. You ask me to calm down. <laughs> Don't worry, Janet. Junior will not die. I promise you, with God on our side, he will not die. Look, the money for his surgery will be made available first thing tomorrow morning. Please. Hmm? Mm. Stop crying. I'm going to be okay. Where's my uncle? Uncle. Uncle Mike. Did you hear the boy? Did you hear the little boy speak? Yeah, Junior. Okay, I'll call Uncle Mike. Hmm? Hello? Yeah. Speak to Uncle Mike. Uncle Mike. Hello? Glad to meet you, sir. I am sick. My mom is crying because we don't have any money. If I was to run, I'll speak with Uncle Mike. Is this now your new way of welcoming your husband after they had this job? I'm sorry, but please don't get me wrong. See, I'm just concerned about the little boy dying because when Victor came, he was Grace. Was... You don't tell me that you love my brother's child more than I do. I'm just very busy with work, and that's it. We're saying the same thing. You are busy with work, so why don't you just sign the check and then I'll take it to the hospital first thing tomorrow morning? And this is the best time. Tell me that. Couldn't you have allowed me to at least eat first, then shower before you begin your sermon? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You see, I'm just Save it. And before I forget, you're calling me earlier and giving Junior the phone to say those disheartening things to me is unacceptable. Thing tomorrow morning. 
Okay? Don't worry, I said I'll get it across to you first thing tomorrow morning. Ha! I said he would not die in Jesus' name. That is not his portion. Don't worry yourself, just calm down. Take care of Junior and take care of yourself. I'll get the money across in the morning. Okay? You're welcome, Victor. You're welcome, eh? It is well. I've told you to stop worrying yourself over nothing. It wasn't my fault that the check didn't go through. It may just be Maybe an internal problem in the bank or network or something, you know? Okay. I just want you to remember how much Victor sacrificed to save my life and the life of our son. I mean, it would be really nice if you can, if you can reciprocate such kindness. I don't want to miss my appointment. I've told you. I'll settle things. And would that be after his death or something? Tell me something, Michael. If that were to be our son, in that hospital bed, dying, would you rather prefer your job over him? I don't even know your problem here. Why are you crying more than the bereaved? That guy is my nephew, not yours! Be 
eh? Because if I could turn back the hands of time, I wouldn't have stepped my foot into that evil town that wrecked my life and claimed the life of my only child. Calm down, my son. No, calm down, mom, because you know, it's a matter of time. He will come back to his senses. No, he can as well remain senseless for the rest of his life. Oh, yes. See, mama, since my son died, my brother, only brother, he has not touched his hands to call me on the phone. Or even call my wife. Understand. Just because he gave me money and I lost it, Abby. Eh? I, I understand the better. Mama, well, I don't understand. Mama, Sorry, please leave Brother Victor alone. Uh -uh. I know how he feels. It's just that you yourself, you want to put the fire. Okay. Brother Mike has been wicked to him and his family. So it's only natural that he should feel bitter, Biko. Uh -huh. Yes. Mama, Rose is right. I support her this time. Rose is right. Yes. Do you want to go? Brother Victor wants to stay back in the village. Let's allow him. Let's <laughs> allow him. Let's 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 This is not the boy I brought up. I did not bring you up like this. I'm talking to you, Michael. What demonic influence has come over you, Michael? Michael, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to somebody. Until you will not understand. Then make me understand. Make me understand what your kid brother has done. Where he has gone wrong. That's that's your past caring about about what is happening to him. It's not enough that you, you couldn't give him money to save his son's life. This this boy was there for you before you traveled. He took care of your wife and your son. Huh? Yes, six months after. The burial of his own son. You, you, you don't bother to ask him why. What is it? I love my brother, but but what? Tell me, but what? I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't think I can ever face my brother again. I will go. Mama, be coming. I'm going. I'm going. Mom, please, don't do it. I don't want to come back in there. I'm back. Leave me alone. Come down with the table. Now, I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to